Look, folks, parenting is, it's a hell of a journey, right? As the father of a two-year-old French bulldog, I know firsthand how difficult it can be, you know, navigating certain situations, when to be a disciplinarian, when to play good cop, bad cop, you know, when to have tough conversations. These are all things that you have to navigate as a parent. Uh, but one thing that I think we can all agree with first and foremost is having the autonomy as parents to make these difficult decisions ourselves and not have some sort of an ideology imposed on our children, which kind of gets in the way of the way that we choose to parent our children. Now, you know, Fox News understands this and they put out a tweet saying, you're not alone. Ingram Angle launches a new parental portal to give mothers and fathers across America a place to share stories about what their children's schools are teaching. If you have a story to share, email ingramangle at fox.com. <laughs> so this is going to be good. So let's watch the video and she's going to explain that now for all of you parents who feel as if your parental rights has been violated by these woke teachers, you now have a very valuable resource. Uh, Ingram Angle at Fox.com. Let's listen as she explains why you might want to use this parental portal. Marinating our kids and lessons on gender inclusivity and sexual expression. It's not going to help them succeed in this ever competitive world we live in. And it goes without saying that everyone, and I mean everyone, should feel safe in school. Bullying should never be tolerated. But the bullies today are often those who refuse to respect parental boundaries, those who seek to destroy a kid's innocence in the name of tolerance. Parents we've spoken with have had enough, and they're mobilizing. And to help them, we have created the Ingram Angle Parent Portal, it's a place for you to share what your children are seeing and hearing in the classroom. We'll hear the good and the not so good. Email us at ingramangle at fox.com. Send us examples of some of the lessons that your kids are learning or seeing or hearing. And be sure to include the school district, the city, and the state, and keep all comments respectful. Tolerance demands that the dignity of all people be respected, including the dignity and innocence of our children. I love how she tries to be reasonable, but what she says is just absurd. Everyone, and I mean everyone, should feel safe in school. So that implies, you know, maybe kids who are different, LGBTQ plus kids or kids who have a family that is different than other families. Uh, but then she says, bullying should never be tolerated, but the bullies today are often the ones who refuse to respect parental boundaries. Now, it's weird because you'd assume that she's talking about bullying in the class, but then she calls teachers bullies, essentially. Um, okay. Um, those who seek to destroy a kid's innocence in the name of tolerance. So this is referring to the don't say gay bill and this woke ideology. So if a kid finds out that gay people exist, well, you're crushing their innocence. You're letting them know that gay people exist, and as a result, gay sex must also exist. That's the implication. It's not the same when kids talk about their mommy and daddy. That doesn't imply that straight sex exists, and that definitely doesn't destroy their innocence. It's only destroying their innocence and grooming if we're talking about gay people or trans people because, you know, being straight and heterosexual and cisgender, that's normal, but being gay you know, being transgender or non-binary, these are all unnatural things. And if we can protect our children from ever finding out that LGBTQ plus people exist, then perhaps we can keep them from being gay or trans. That's their logic anyways. So now the email again is ingramangle at fox.com. Uh, she says to include the school district, the city, and the state. Now listen, folks, this is a serious resource for serious people only. So definitely don't troll this email address. And if you do decide to send an email to Laura Ingram, definitely do not share it in the comment sections down below. Uh, I will not be reading this. Uh, this is all private. So, you know, write an email. Don't put it in the comment section down below. Now, because I'm sure that a lot of you are expecting um, this hotline to get bombarded by lefties trolling Laura Ingram, um, I decided to send her an email to show you what not to do, basically. So that way we respect this very serious hotline. So here's what I wrote. 
Dear Laura and Fox News friends, my name is Michael Fettuccini. My son, Ralphie, attends Clarendon Elementary School in Portland, Oregon. My son told me about a recent field trip his teacher took him on that disturbed me to my core. My son recently came out as a heterosexual by revealing to one of his friends while passing notes during class that he had a crush on one of his female classmates, Phoebe. My son's teacher, Miss Frizzle, caught him passing notes and outed my son by reading the note to the entire class. She then shamed him for his sexual orientation in front of all of his classmates, calling him a filthy breeder and asking him how many pussies he nutted in today while giving him a noogie. His classmates were laughing at him as the teacher made an example out of him, but it didn't end there. Miss Frizzle then held an impromptu biology lesson by taking the class on a field trip by using some sort of a magical bus that actually shrunk the entire class down to a microscopic level. Miss Frizzle then took the class on a field trip into my son's classmate Arnold's asshole in order to prove that my son's heterosexual sexuality was unnatural. The class traveled to Arnold's prostate and Miss Frizzle referred to it as a G-spot and claimed God put that there because he expected men to be with men. When my son came home, the stench was utterly unbearable. I asked him why he smelled like shit and he explained to me where his teacher had taken the class. Now, I actually don't mind my son's teacher explaining the fundamentals of homosexuality to him and I think the bullying of him for his straightness was actually necessary. My wife and I are trying to teach Ralphie to not be breeders like us. I draw the line, however, at field trips where no permission slip was signed, and if you're going to take my son on a field trip into an ass, maybe have the courtesy to bathe him before sending him home. My wife and I work eight-hour jobs, and we shouldn't be expected to bathe our child after a hard day of work. Needless to say, we're both outraged as parents and thought we'd reach out to this wonderful portal you've created, Laura. You probably know firsthand how intolerable a stanky asshole can be, and I thought you might want to cover this on a broadcast. God bless you, Laura. Best, Michael and Nancy Fettuccini, aka a Ralphie's parents. Now that right there is an example of what you don't want to send to this hotline. Now, um, that was me joking. Um, actually my son's name is not Ralphie. It's Carlos. Uh, but other than that, the story is actually true. So definitely do not send this hotline, those types of emails, and don't you dare post them in the comment section down below. I will not be reading them. I will not be paying attention to them. I do not encourage trolling. Only use this hotline legitimately to send in complaints about your woke teacher or your, your child's woke teacher, rather. And, you know, hopefully Laura Ingram will see your complaint or your concern. And, you know, together as parents, we can work together to make this country a better place, to make classrooms safe for our very, very sensitive children uh, during this developmental time in their lives. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate Laura Ingram setting up this angle here or, or set, <laughs> setting up this email um, for parents. Uh, you know, it's, it's a really good thing to do. You know that her heart is in the right place and it comes out of a place of concern. So I really appreciate her doing this. And um, I, I think that she she should be commended for this. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.